Yo guys, it's game over and I have to say I'm so happy Halo is back. This game is the reason why I love my Xbox back in the day. Eight TVs, eight consoles in one room playing System Link on Halo 2. And I thought it couldn't get any better, but Halo 5 multiplayer was released and I was blown away. We've come a long way from there, but is it for the better or for the worse? I'm going to go over the, some of the likes and dislikes of the Halo Infinite technical preview demo from my perspective. And I will tackle each objective or feature with a for or an against. So, let's have it. Does the grapple suck? Nah, it doesn't suck, but for me it just feels like a gimmick. Almost a halfway meet in the middle place where 343 loved the Spartan Charge from Halo 5, which I loved, and jetpacks from Halo 4, which I didn't like. But a minority of the community didn't like Spartan Charge, as well as the jetpacks. So we ended up with a grapple. I know this could be quite controversial and the grapple is decent, but I don't feel badass when I use it like I use the Spartan charge. Some of the kills I've seen with a grapple are quite impressive when it's been used and you can fetch things from a distance, but flying towards something feels a bit odd. If I was going to pick between the grapple and the Spartan charge, I would pick the Spartan charge all day long. I am not limited to when I can use it and in Halo 5, you felt like the best super soldier using the Spartan Charge. You could smash people with it, get weapons quickly, dodge bullets like you're Neo in the Matrix, and use the same button to get to far to reach ledges, and also get to your teammates quicker, but with the grapple, you don't sting, you kind of float. Maybe the grapple will grow on me as you can move away from tight situations, grab weapons, and get the drop on the enemy a lot quicker. I would have loved to see the grapple as an addition to the truly great mechanics of Halo 5, not to replace the Spartan charge altogether. Let me put it this way, if I don't use my arsenal of grenades or plasma grenades, ammo for my rockets, or make use of my battle rifle before I die, I feel like holding those items was a waste of time. But if I don't use the drop wall or the grapple, I feel like, meh, I had no real use for it anyway, and then it just becomes a gimmick in the game. Sometimes a useful gimmick. Looks like 343 lost their nerve with this one. Things evolve and change and some people can't handle it. You never heard Call of Duty Modern Warfare players say, take out sprint, this isn't Call of Duty enough. Look at this, There's, I, I, I just remembered, you can't even sprint in this game, like literally. I plan to get an Xbox X soon, but right now I'm okay with my Xbox One until Halo actually comes out. And I have to say the graphics were very, very good. Some of the maps look a little bit washed out, so not so 4K on a 1080 box, but it looked great in most parts, except for the grenade that looked like it was downloaded from YouTube. I wasn't too happy about the drops of frames, unless you thought it was down to the Xbox One, but watch the other content creators, Jack Frag used a 3090 RTX with the same issues. I realised it wasn't my underpowered Xbox, lots of people had these frame issues, some didn't of course, I just would have wanted something smoother so my shots would connect better. Not a massive complaint, it was just a bit difficult to hit everything I wanted. I did watch the other Halo feeds on better machines and wow, the graphics of the tech demo were very impressive. I know this sounds strange, but the Xbox One or less powered machines do have a softer feel to the game over the hard, very sharpened look of the more powerful devices. From the AI, I had the British dude, Butler I think his name was, and I never actually tried to change it, but how annoying was the British guy's voice? Some stuff was actually quite witty, but some stuff was damn right cringe, like Needler Obtained or Drop Wall Obtained. No shit, Sherlock. I know. I just picked it up. You can change your voices by customising your AI in the menus. I never tried it, but I should have. I am quite happy that these voices can be changed. Of course there will be paid DLC for this, but if it customises your playtime, I don't see any issues with it, especially if they can be funny at times. Bet that was a surprise. I know some of you Halo 5 bashers also didn't like the unlimited sprint like Spartan Charge, but just want to say one thing to you guys. I'm glad it's in the game as you can get to things faster. You can make massive leaps from one ledge to another ledge. And if your teammate needs your help, you can enjoy the combat with them and make the combat last longer or end it quicker. Graphically or emotionally, it didn't feel as fast as Halo 5. I felt like in Halo 5, you gradually got to a faster top speed. Also, the speed of blur lines were more defined in Halo 5. I think things like this can be fixed pre-launch, 
but wanted to put it out there. The speed is good, but the feeling of speed needs to be worked on. I didn't get why the speed of the drop walls popping up was so slow. The bubble shield in Halo 4 was instant, but the drop wall had a delay. Is the delay there so it's not classed as overpowered? I actually love the idea, and I love that you can shoot to break the panels. I think it should pop up a lot quicker. It's like I had to put down the wall, run away, take cover for a few seconds and come back. By that time the enemy had legged it and I'm standing there waiting to be shot at defending a piece of grass for nothing. And then ditching my drop wall. Kind of pointless. Make it appear quicker and maybe only have one and not two when picking it up. The maps are great technically but lack so much imagination just like halo 5 but not in the map design but the map aesthetics if you go back to halo 1 to 3 the maps look amazing when people talk about the good old days of halo the first thing will come to their mind is zanzibar beaver creek lockout ivory tower guardian boardwalk zenith the pit and many more not just because the map was designed well because it was but we appreciate the amazing creative minds that took the time to put these beasts together in halo infinite and halo 5 they just felt like concrete jungle maps or just metal walls and boxes everywhere like i'm fighting in a big old factory and then it changes to a different location the map designs are great but just like in halo 5 the maps were very mediocre looking i hope the maps are grander in halo infinite we need to be talking about these maps in years to come i was happy to see guns on walls with a respawn meter that was pretty cool. Guns just lying on the floor was always a bit weird. The shotgun and the needler felt very underpowered, especially the shotgun, but the pistol, oh wow, proper badass. The tight corridors that turned into open spaces was a great idea. I really love the design choices to traversal all over the map. I love feeling like I can parkour, especially with clamber. But I tell you what, if I had Spartan Charger at my disposal, I would have definitely made more landings. I felt like a real badass. I'm flogging a dead horse here, aren't I? What did you think to my pros and cons to this Halo Infinite technical demo? Did you have some I missed out? Do you agree or disagree with any of them? Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm posting more random games and more Halo when it's out and I try to be as humorous as possible. Just check out my other videos for proof. Have a great day, peace and pow pow.